But this year, without a doubt, I had to replace the truck's winter tires. Um, it just, it was too dangerous to drive it. So, winter tires become summer tires, you know the drill. Anyways, I, uh, I bought this set of tread right recaps. This is my third full complete set from the company. And uh, I, I won't say that I'm unhappy because I have been very, very happy with the product. But of the tires, I'm probably the least pleased with this set here. Now, on the wife's rodeo here, they were Bridgestone casings. And it's the same tread that I got on the truck. And uh, gosh, these things maybe have 20,000 miles on them. And, you know, maybe a quarter of the tread is gone. I will say, however, that this machine here eats tires. It eats tires like they're candy. All four wheels, and I've had it aligned and aligned and aligned and nothing. I think it's been racked and straightened, but they've lasted this long. Um, it's really something. These set of Yokohamas I had on it before here, brand new Yokohamas, they they lasted between twelve and 15,000. So, um... She's a monster on her tires. Now, on the Jeep here, I get a little more of the clear and obvious recap sidewall. The casings here were Wrangler MTs, Goodyear's. Oh, I like these. These things, they've got the fewest miles uh, of any of the tires, but, you know, they're pretty hard miles. The Jeep sees a lot of flat towing and then, well, just a lot of Jeeping. So, they're chunking a little bit, but not so bad. It's okay. They have a very pronounced recap line. And that's, I mean, in many ways, that's just life. And I guess it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't understand why it's so much bigger than it was on my other tires. I just feel like maybe, maybe these tires are more desirable, so... There's more pressure, there's less selection, I'm not sure. For instance, I got three white white letters and one black letter. So, uh, I would have preferred to put the white letters out just to, <laughs> I don't know, mess with people who go to try to buy uh, these casings or Yokohama uh, G-Landers. But, but I don't have that choice because that little bad boy right there is uh, black wall both sides. <laughs> But whatever, I'll get over it. The price was still nice. So, I've got them in here warming up. They are, see, this one's black on both sides. They're a heavy casing tire. Eh, heavy, very, very heavy. Um, I've, been, I've been very pleased with the Treadwright Company's durability. Like I said, this is my third full set. You know, uh, all told, delivered, I think it was 400, all said and done, and uh, a new set of tires um, out the door at like Costco would be closer to six, and uh, installed at like a Les Schwab would be closer to eight, and that would be for some pretty low grade tires. And in this, what I like about the tread rights is you get a decent casing. And I can now tell you for 100% certainty that the tread wears like iron. I mean, it's it's like it's like old bias ply or old Irox or something. They just go, 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 go. So, you know, knock on wood, I have never cut one. I have never punctured one. And uh, I got 20,000 miles, 20, miles on the wipes and, you know, six on the Jeep. But that's a little more hardcore stuff. So... I'd have bought them anyways, even if I knew I was going to get that blackie there. I just wish they all matched. Um, you can select that when you order. Let's go ahead and mount one up here. You'll have to pardon my voice throughout this. Uh, they tell me I have walking pneumonia or something like that. I don't know. I wish it would walk away. Because I have that one black wheel, I have to mount them all name played out. Oh yeah, these are gonna fight. Me.
wow. Went on nice. Yep. It did it. So there we go. They went on just fine. Look at that. I don't like to see that. I don't like to see that at all. I can cut my own tires, thank you very much. So I'm gonna balance them here. I know it's the very worst kind of tire balance, but it's what they used to do. Level, anyways, um, just a Harbor Freight unit. And then my father machined for me brand new sleeves. Um, line board, the four pins, reamed them, and then cut sleeves to a, a much finer tolerance. And it's, it's a little fiddly, but it, uh, it took the side to side slop out of the unit. So, I mean, in theory, the, the line board here does, shouldn't really matter, right? Because it balances up here. But we found out that it mattered. It mattered a little, so. Because the center holes in these are so big, I gotta use that dang ring. I hate those. It adds another whole level of, did you get the ring in there straight? So, anyways, um, it'll be good enough for the truck. It's not too bad for a big tire. The rim had two and a half on it. I was curious if two and a half would get her close to where we need to be. close so here's the weight on the back side and that right there is where the old weight was with the tab centered over here somewhere so it means it's probably the rim now the one I took off was two well, two and a half and I ended up putting on 3.25 ounces but but the loads are in the same location, so that's a really good indicator that the problem is not in the tire, it's in the rim. And that has been my experience with these tread right tires, is they bounce up pretty nice. So these uh, rims here for the ones I had on the truck, when I had that disastrous string of tire luck two years ago, I think. Uh, both front tires went within 50 miles of each other so you can understand why I felt that I should probably not run the rear two anymore even if they looked okay I believe these are an American racing they're just your classic white spoke steel rim um, about as cheap as you can get That'll fit the Dodge. They don't. They don't self-align on the hubs. They align on the studs, so they won't hold as much weight, if that makes sense, as the factory rims, which, which align on the studs and align on on the hub. The lubricant I use is uh, Ruglide. Uh, it's uh, Napa part number seven six five dash thirteen thirty eight, and. Uh, this is what I always use. I don't dilute it. This is the black wall. My one oddball blackie I ended up with. And you can see that it has a pretty ugly recap line. A lot of grinding went in to get this one ready to go, apparently. Like I said, though, if you can live with it, they've proven to be very, very durable tires. This is our second tire. This is my one oddball black one. Um, it took five ounces. So three on one side, two on the other. Seems excessive even for, for these types of tires. Give you a better look at the tread. So should be a pretty good winter tread. 
You really should. Lots of little sipes. So, on the number three, there is a noticeable difference in the weight of the two tires. The uh, Treadrite recap Yokohamas are probably five pounds heavier, give or take, which is fascinating because they're both low range E, but this is a 3400 and this is a 3000 pound load range E. So in theory, that one holds more weight. That's a much heavier tire. This is that third tire. One and a half came off. Looks like uh, one, maybe one and a quarter ounce is going back on. So that's pretty consistent with what it was before. This one has a patch in it. That's the first tread right tire I've, I've seen that used a carcass that needed a patch. It's not a problem, mind. It's fine. Because obviously then they put a brand new rubber tread over it and it's a sealed patch and it's fine and all. I just, you know, wish it wasn't there. It's always the last one. I can't get her to seat, so I forced the compressor on and we'll run her up to her max, which is still probably 40 psi below what this machine is supposed to have but we'll we'll try our gate at the max how's that no weights of any kind perfectly balanced according to my crappy machine number four is on the rim and we are done there we are all four ready to go on just in time I didn't mean to give an impression that I wasn't satisfied with the tires. I'm very much satisfied with the tires. There are some things I didn't necessarily like. Um, for instance, you know, not having sidewalls uh, match uh, the three white ones and a black one. But then again, I didn't select on their web page that I would be overly critical about that. And so you can, if it's a bigger deal to you, um, you can select that, and I, I believe there's a small fee. I just didn't do it. So I got four matching Yokohama Geolanders, and three of them with white, one of them, one of them with black. So they all end up being black. That's fine. I didn't necessarily care to see the patch in the carcass, but it says on their webpage that uh, you know carcasses are repaired, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think the only real honest criticism of these four they're really ugly sidewalls. They are, compared to what I've had in the past. But the only thing I don't, don't like, I don't like that cut. I know it's tiny. But I don't like that cut. It'll hold up okay, I think. So there we are. Four tread right tires. I'm pretty darn satisfied. Uh, saved about 50% over brand new name brand. Probably even slightly more than replacing them with Toyos. I saved about $200 from an out the door cheap Chinese Costco tire. And I know these are better than that. Much, much better than that. So, like I said, I'm happy. I really am. I just, maybe I'm not quite as happy as I was last time. They still say they're worth it. Thanks for watching.